a first episode of Arcane it was really good. It's more or less exactly what I was looking for in a series. So I'm looking forward to getting to the rest of this series and seeing what it's all about. Now, if you want to check out all the content I'm doing, I will be doing some solo videos here on the Movie Buds channel, but I'm also posting movie reactions with my girlfriend on the Santa Maria channel. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below. But if you're new here, my name is Sam, and I'm your Movie Bud. I assume this is someone's memory, or...? You really went to the Undercity to get these? A little danger is worth the risk. <laughs> Careful, that's your parents' money. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is the other side of the door when they were broken into. Well, when our main characters were breaking into, I get you. Open up! Yeah, what's going on with these little blue crystals? Oh no! Right, I remember they exploded. Is he dead? No. no that's cool. Okay. 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 I wonder if he's okay. Oh, okay. So we're getting the parallel between this guy and our other main characters. They both lost their parents young, huh? Ugh, oh, that's brutal. Okay, so I'm assuming what he's using there is the same type of crystal that we've been seeing uh, that our main character stole in the last episode and obviously blew up the apartment. All right, uh, so this is part of our magic lore, I suppose. It helps people do magic. What a cool visual. Is it like a finite power from each crystal sort of situation? Wait, his mom's okay? Oh, that's cool. Nice. Touching to behold the stories that are told. You know, I really haven't paid much attention to Imagine Dragons in the past, but I get the impression this song's gonna grow on me a little bit. Especially now that I know that apparently they're pretty good dudes. Uh, Maria was just telling me that most of their live performances in recent times, they've been trying to bring awareness to the situation in Ukraine. And obviously for her, that's super important. And I can respect that a lot as well, obviously. I didn't do this. Relax, kid. We know it was a break-in. But there's a lot of restricted items. You don't see any permits. <laughs> He definitely doesn't want to tell you how he got anything, I'm sure. <laughs> how he got them. Be careful with that! Should have said that earlier. What happened here? Well, explosion. Science didn't require illegal equipment. Not require, but, you know. Who authorized your research? An independent study. So no one authorized? Who are you, anyway? Assistant to the dean of the academy. Also head of the council. Sent me here to ensure anything dangerous is removed. Includes you. Um... What? How am I dangerous? Well, that's for the council to decide. Okay, it does seem like he might be a little dangerous, but... Oh, man. Arrested? That's bullshit. Probably. I guess we'll see. Oh. Okay. Imprisonment. Curious principle. Confine the physical body, the mind is still free. Uh... Somewhat free. I think it depends on the kind of imprisonment. I remember the first time I saw you ready to forge a new vector of experimentation. I <laughs> uh, love the excitement. Sometimes we venture too far. No great science should put lives in danger. Yeah, agreed. What manner of inquiry was this? I believe I've discovered a way to harness magic through science. Ah. No. No? What do you mean, no? The arcane is dangerous. Science cannot control it. Hmm. Maybe it can. I love the intersection of science and magic and fiction. How old are you? 24. I am now 307 years old. Damn, dude. Go hard, son. I've pursued the mysteries of science only to discover some are better left unsolved. This is one of them. <laughs> 
Shit. Own your mistakes before the council, but speak nothing of magic. Okay. You'll get away with a slap on the wrist. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, nice. I love the training machine. Get some work in. Remind me why we bother with this. Seriously? Vander said to lay low. Enforcers never come down here, so... Good reasoning. You worried Powder's gonna beat you again? If she didn't keep fixing these things, I wouldn't keep missing. What? Oh, so you're just a bad shot? I wouldn't take you on a job you couldn't handle. Quick side note. I, I've never used a gun, but it seems like um pretty poor <laughs> way to shoot doing the sideways thing. I know it being popular because it like looked cool, I guess, over the last... 10, 20, 30 years, whatever, but how do you aim sideways, right? It's like here instead, of, you know what I'm saying? That was the best job we've ever done. Bro, hit a target, come on. Don't take powder next time. Okay. Hey, so she's clearly been putting work into her shot. Maybe we should trust her with a gun? In the future, at least? Tell me where I can find them. Give me a name. <laughs> I would have also accepted a fuck you, but, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. That's the bummer of, uh, how do you put this? Antagonizing. <laughs> Probably don't antagonize the cops, whether you like them or not, you know. Search them. Hmm. Shit. I got nothing. Yeah, nothing. Is it possible you shouldn't be necessarily carrying those crystals around everywhere? Like hide them somewhere maybe, you know? Dude, is that not a toy gun? Also, you can't aim, apparently. Oh, nice. Shit. I guess the good news is that one other dude got let go. Over here. Um, still keep running though. Wasn't that one guy gonna shoot? Oh, maybe you took him out specifically right there. You need to hide those crystals. Yeah. Fair. The house pharaohs insist business is steady. Steady is stagnant. Stagnant isn't always bad. It's thanks to their innovations that you are the richest person. Oh, God. Yet I remain the poorest Madonna. Whatever. Just to, just a quick note, that actually does remind me just like of the current situation in the world right now where so many companies feel like they need to continue to make profits, like uh, increasingly more higher and higher profits every year. And it's like... How far can that possibly go? At a certain point, you need to be like happy with your business just staying stable, you know, get it to a decent point and then just like hold pace and take care of your employees and your product. Just, you know what I mean? I don't like this idea that being stagnant in business is a bad thing. It depends on where you're at. Excellent choice, Councillor Medarda. We need something revolutionary to put Piltover on the map. <laughs> you haven't achieved enough? God damn. What of today's trial? Jace of House Talus. Their toolmakers came to renown for their design of the collapsible pocket wrench. Cool. Heimerdinger favors him? As far as I can tell. This one. That's a child's toy. Good. Yeah, something being a child's toy doesn't necessarily make it useless. It depends on what you do with it. The boy's got ambition. He nearly blew up our daughter. <laughs> Jace had nothing to do with that. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it was his fault. We need to help him. We're his patrons. If anyone is meant to speak up for him, it's us. Fair. I'm with you. We've got the numbers to beat him. Support the people that you're in business with, assuming that, you know, you trust and like them. I guess that's what she's trying to say, and I agree with. Yeah. Let's teach him what it means to mess with us! Yeah. Mm. We crossed that bridge, and we all know how that ended. You're just protecting your kids. You gotta pick and choose your moments. Protecting our people. Do the same for any one of you. Seems like they're in a real tough spot. You gotta be careful. This will blow over. You need to stand together. The Vander I knew wouldn't be afraid to fight. He doesn't seem even remotely afraid. You gotta be careful with your words. Do I look afraid? You look weak. <sighs> he looks patient. We kick the enforcer's butts. Imagine what the whole of the lanes could do. Even Powder wants to fight. Why aren't we? You got to be careful. I mean, yeah, fight, but plan the fight, you know? What? Spill it, Echo. 
Vander's gotta deal with the enforcers. Uh-huh. I really hope the kids go talk to Vander directly. Ask him about it. Don't just do something reckless, you know? For your birthday, counselor. I'm told it was built only for the sharpest of minds. <laughs> okay. I bought you some ginkgo nuts. Oh, no, you didn't. Don't you know I'm allergic? That was just your own snack. Blatantly, you were just sitting there eating them. <laughs> uh. Oh, no lights? Oh, there, okay, there we go. <laughs> like, what the hell? Accused of illegal experimentation. What do you have to say for yourself? Play cool, man. The materials were more dangerous than I was aware of. Cool. I now know my actions were against Academy regulations. Good start. Gotta stay under the radar. What I did endangered people, and I'm sorry. I hope that I can continue my studies. Cool. As Jace's patron of many years, I believe that he will be a great contributor to our society. You know what? She said patron like twice, and uh, <laughs> just just quickly, if you want to check out the uncut for this video, it will be on Patreon. Um, our TV shows are going to be at the five dollar tier. I've been doing Buffy. We're going to be starting Angel very soon, and we did recently do Has Been Hotel. Those are all. Me and Maria. Obviously, Arcane is just me. But if you want to check out our TV shows on Patreon, I'll leave a link down below. He destroyed a building. Well, you can't make a prototype without breaking a few wrenches. Yeah, mistakes do happen. Do you have anything to show besides an explosion? No. Well, he was still working on things. Your study was meaningless. It was revolutionary. Ooh, okay. All I see is a boy meddling with things he doesn't understand. Mm, careful, man. The Academy seems to have loosened its standards. Oh, don't let them get to you, man. Stay out of your emotions. The Council has more influence. Why is the Gotta stay out of you, just... just... I was trying to create magic. Shit. Yeah, I had a feeling. Like, I get it. You want respect for the work you do, but... Arcane talents are something you're born with. Before we go on, just quickly. I fully understand and appreciate wanting respect for the work that you do. It Obviously, every everyone who creates anything wants respect for the work they do. But you got to know when and where. And there's a time and place to just let it go. You know, like, there's always going to be some people who don't understand or don't like or don't respect, whatever. You just got to know which battles to fight. <laughs> You know, and I have absolutely had my own problems with this in the past, you know, trying to like stand up for my work at times when maybe it wasn't necessary. Uh, so, you know, it's all learn from our mistakes on this one and fight the battles that we can fight when they're worth fighting. You know what I mean? Arcane talent can't be fabricated. Lee, I believe it is possible. My race was nearly destroyed by it. Race? Pioneers of science can use it for good. We can master it. Is that other guy a robotic race, or is he just covered under a whole lot of armor and machinery? I mean, I don't know, maybe... Should you answer that? You know what, if it's not a spoiler, answer that. If it is a spoiler, I guess just, I don't know, don't, or maybe tell me that it's a spoiler, whatever. You know what I'm saying, right? Think of the wonders we could create. You don't understand what's at stake. That's a burden that only I here carry. Not everyone knows everything. I've seen this power in the wrong hands. Corrupts. Consumes. Hmm. Power in almost any hands can corrupt. Piltover was founded to escape the warmongering of mages. He must be banished from Piltover. Banished? Oh, that seems a bit strong. Please let me speak. As a lower house, my voice doesn't carry much weight here. But as a mother... I have a voice that matters deeply. I love that she's still here. My son isn't in his Ooh. right mind. Mm, that's tough. What he did was foolish. But I get it. Just say what they want to hear so you can get the hell out of here. Please, let him come home. The boy must be punished. But I can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. For sure. I move that Jace be summarily expelled from the academy, remanded to the care of his parents. Crap. Could be worse. Just two? Oh, three votes? Okay. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Telefat seems like he was paying more attention to his gift. But he is never to set foot on Academy grounds again. Yeah, it totally could be worse. Not exactly the outcome you want, but better than banishment. Eh? What's going on here? Oh, is this from the experiments that dude's been doing? First time I've been invited to the lanes. Carry your chin so high you fail to see the opportunity below. <laughs> oh, funny. You're looking for four children. 
I'm about to make your day. All right, how? Hey guys, I just got to quickly interrupt this video to let you know that all of the uncut reactions for this series is going to be on our Patreon. They're all available at the $5 tier. They will be picture in picture and I do adjust all of the audio so that you can hear everything as clearly as possible, both me and the show. If you want to check that out, it is the best way to support me making new videos. So I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Thank you so much. I'm guessing that's the original crystal from when he was saved. Oh, when they were saved, I should say. I still remember the look on your face when you found these. If I hadn't spoken, you'd be lost to me. Magic saved your life. Oh, well, yes, and this time her voice saved yours, right? But it won't save yours now. I could have convinced the council. No, I do not think that you could have convinced the whole council. Some of those people were against you, regardless of what you were going to say or do. My own family won't help me. I'll find someone who will. His theory intrigues. His ideas didn't excite the imagination. We would never wander astray. <laughs> Fair. Totally. Could these stones really invoke magic? It's far too unstable. Could you stabilize it? That only leads to more problems. I wonder if Heimerdinger is just like trying to lead his assistant astray. So, you know, the, just being careful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. Magic is far too dangerous in the wrong hands. I don't feel a lot of trust with the assistant. Will he live? Long enough. Beautiful, aren't they? Cool. Yeah. On the surface, no one even knows they exist. They're monsters. Oh, this is a big shock. There's a monster inside all of us. No, no, it'll kill me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, seems like this kid. I'd like to let you in on a very important secret. At least smart enough to know he shouldn't be fucking with this stuff, you know what I mean? Real power doesn't come to those who are born strongest or smartest. Most of the time, I agree. Who will do anything to achieve it. Ooh, unfortunately still kind of true. It's time to let the monster out. Don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or something you should chase, but yeah, I... I hear the validity in his words. Oh man, a kid went for it. Okay. Woo! Is this a temporary transformation, or is this just how he's going to be moving forward? They won't see you. your name's no good now. I'm glad his friend cares. We can't be friends anymore. So why are you out here? Because she cares about you, man. I'm a misfit too, I suppose. What will you do? Join the Talus Hammer business? You can't do that. I mean, he could do that and still do science on the side. Just in secret. Come inside, Caitlin. Now. I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain. I think you've done enough. That's too bad. I appreciate she at least stood up for him in, with the council. Did they take anything dangerous? We don't exactly know what we did find. Your attitude makes me question if your best is up to the task. Your attitude is generally concerning. To be clear, when I say your attitude, I mean this dude with the, you know, drinking whatever. I was going to say glass, but it's clearly metal or something. But, you know, this blonde dude with the red, the high, you, you know what I'm saying. He seems like a douche. Don't you think we've pushed them hard enough? Turn the embassies upside down if you have to. Mm. That sounds concerning. Welcome to the last drop. Or not welcome, maybe? What can I get you? Four sump rats will do. Uh, no. Search the place. While you're wasting your time, how about a proper drink? I'll take the strongest shit you got. <laughs> okay. Sure. Nice. Cool. Mm, you be careful with that. I ran into an old friend of yours. He had some stories. Uh-huh. What stories? And what the fuck? You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? No, obviously not. What are you trying to do here, Marcus? You can't escape the past. It's right? a shame if I had to put them on again. It's hard to clean. Uh-huh. Yeah. I do like Vando. He seems very patient. Oh, shit. 
Yeah. How long can you stay there? That's tough. Ah, shit. She's gonna drop, isn't she? Whoo! Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, move along, Marcus, you fucking douche. You people down here are all the same, mistaking arrogance for bravery. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's such a rich statement from this dude. Oh, okay. Whew. Well, that's, um, is that, is that ironic? I, I think I kind of half I forget what ironic exactly means. But it's, uh, it's dumb. I definitely think you give you that. What a fucking idiot. But we all know there is a crime behind every coin passes through this place. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You don't know fuck, Marcus. Small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. Um, look in a mirror lately, bro? And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. <laughs> you all okay? Yeah, relatively speaking. They almost saw Powder. What if they took her? Never let that happen. It's already happening. They won't stop. We need to fight back. Okay, again, I don't... Yes, fight back, but plan. Plan carefully, you know? And if you won't, I will. I've heard this kind of talk before. I'm sure. He probably used to talk like that himself. Why are we here? I'm guessing because he's about to drop some knowledge on you. How you can work with them. I grew up knowing I'm less yeah. than them. I want Powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. I'm glad that they're just discussing this. So was I. I led us across this bridge, thinking things could change. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. I lived, yeah, I, I was thinking last episode, like, he was he was their dad, it seemed like it, but it's more like, a, I guess, adoptive dad. And he, probably because he feels responsible for their parents' death, which, you know, at least mostly fair, I guess. But who are you willing to lose? Milo? Flagger? Powder? Yeah, those are legitimate questions. Or is a legitimate question. Nobody wins in war, Vi. Yeah, I hear his point. War is nasty and messy. The enforcers will come back. I... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Well, I hope you guys figure out something soon. Got a plan, Jace? Wait, wait, wait. Is your plan to kill yourself? Or are you just looking out of the ruins of your place? Second thing, oh, maybe, oh, first thing. Nah, dude, come on. There is, Am I interrupting? good. There's a way forward, man. Another list with my name on it? Actually, yes, only because you signed your notes. A little egotistical. Mm, no. Intrigued by what you said at the trial. That makes you the only one. Interesting. Yes, well, I wanted to talk about your work. Hextech theory of yours. It's not a theory. So he actually wants to work with him? You've no idea how beautiful it is. And now it's gone. No one believed me. Uh, I wouldn't say no one. Nobody's ever believed in me. Poor cripple from the Undercity. I was an outsider the moment I stepped foot in Piltover. You made it all the way out from under to the top, huh? I simply believed in myself, which is why I'm here. Okay. Oh. I want to help you complete your research. No one thinks it can be done. Is that right? When you're going to change the world, don't ask for permission. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do something great, the chances are the majority of the people around you will not recognize what you're trying to do. You just got to do it. I don't even know your name. It's Victor. Huh. Okay. Bye. Where you been? Rumor is the lanes are going to fight. How to still making bombs? They're gonna work this time. I know it. Okay. You know, Powder, what makes you different makes you strong. Sure. I love their bond. What the hell were you thinking? Going into the last drop. I was getting results. There is no stopping what happens now. Yep. He does seem pretty foolish. Maybe it's not too late. Yeah, I get the impression it is too late. <laughs> Is Marcus going off book again? No. Ow. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta wait till the next one.
Fair enough. This is going great, man. I think I said at the start uh, of episode one before we got into this that uh, I, you know, really wanted to watch something that's on this sort of dystopian, I guess, somewhat post-apocalyptic type of front, and it's looking great so far. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of this, and I hope you're enjoying this with me. All right, we're back for another episode of Arcane. First two episodes have been a lot of fun. I'm still very unaware of all of the background knowledge and lore. If you didn't catch the earlier ones, I have not played this game, so I don't really know anything about the world overall, all these characters. For the TV show, it feels like that's kind of a good thing. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sam, and I'm your movie bud. Ever wonder what it's like to drown? Oh yeah, most definitely. The story of opposites. There's peace in water, like it's holding you. Peace in water, sure, but... Whisperings to let it in. Man, the feeling like you're gonna drown is... Every problem in the world will fade away. I've definitely gotten close a few times where I was like, oh my god, I, I'm not gonna make it to the surface. But then, there's this thing. Lighting every nerve with madness. <laughs> To survive. Yeah. You could pass a lifetime without ever facing a choice like that. Oh shit, someone tried to drown him? But it changes you forever. For that, I thank you. Huh. That's cool we're getting some background on that guy. I can't remember his name, but he's the guy with the messed up eye, right? I think it's the left side, actually. Ugh, oh, it's Vanda. Yeah, cool. Thought it might be. We don't have much time. How did you find me? I'm proud of you. You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it, no matter how the world tries to break you. Absolutely. Yeah, we can see her good heart so far. Protect the family. What are you... Uh, no! Ah, yeah, stay hidden. Stay safe. I get it. Amanda, let me out! Is this right? I'm guessing that's for me. Um, no? What? Are you gonna let us make the arrest or not? Oh. You'll oblige a doomed man, I'll smoke. <laughs> I feel like they probably shouldn't. I'm not putting you away, Amanda. Without you down here, it all falls apart. I'm glad she's smart. Benzo will handle things. He runs a tight ship. No! I can't do this! You won't be coming back for a long time. I know. Right. Why? Sacrificing himself. Gotcha. It's the only way. Rough. What's happening? Yeah, I was wondering. I didn't really think he was giving her up, but... You know, maybe... I thought for a second there that maybe they had, like, another plan. You know, give her up and get her back later or something like that. Um, why now? Um... Uh, is it the juiced up kid? I say, how does Vanda stay so huge? You know what I mean? I guess he's got to be getting enough protein. Go. And of course, the weightlifting. I just figured that was, you know, not necessary to say. Go! Crawl back in. Vento, stay back! Or just resistance training in general. You never did know when to walk away. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, well, there goes Benzo. Ah! Stubborn to the end. Okay. What the hell have you done? This wasn't the deal! Maybe you shouldn't have made a deal with him. Deal's changed. <laughs> the money falling in the blood? You know what I mean? <laughs> Take that blood money, kid. No! Wait, are we actually losing Vanda now? Oh, you're shitting me. Feels like he kind of pulled his punch. Maybe they're just trying to knock him out. Yeah? Vanda's just unconscious here? Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Fuck. You know what, dude? I can't remember that guy's name. Marcus, maybe? I'm glad you didn't think the money was worth it there. I mean, maybe you'll take it anyway, but still. This entire time, I thought I needed to dampen the oscillation. Crystals will only stabilize at high frequency. You have to crank it. <laughs> awesome. Well, we could test it if we had access to my equipment. Being destroyed tomorrow. What? 
Oh, I, I meant to tell you. Yeah, you probably should have brought that up earlier. That research is everything. Maybe if we showed them the equations, we need proof. Not without the crystals. I fully agree. The enforcers took them all. They're gone. Locked away in Heimendinger's lab. Why would you risk this? Scientists seek discoveries. Only fair. To make the world a better place. Hextech, dream of yours, has the potential to do that. Okay, I love that he's willing to take risks for what he believes in. Our Hextech dream. Hey, little man. I saw everything. Benzo! They... What about Vander? They took him. Yeah. Somewhat good news, he is still alive. Oh shit, so they're mass producing this stuff now. The base violence necessary for change. We both know Topside won't listen to anything else. You won't win a war against Piltover. I don't have to. Yeah, I feel like he's got a different plan. I just need to scare them. You'll get people killed. For what? Pride? For respect. I was going to say, definitely more than pride. You had my respect. We shared a vision, Vanda, of freedom. Not just for the lanes, the whole of the underground. Noble dream. The nation of Zorn. Seems unlikely. So I'm getting the impression that these guys previously worked together, I'm guessing in the last fight, incursion, whatever. And we're just getting the, like, the, the opposing pathways of their two visions. Doesn't seem like either one of them is particularly correct. Maybe would have been better if they continue working together, you know? I trusted you. And you betrayed me. Wait, Vanda's the one who was drowning him? Or trying to drown him? What I did to you, I've never forgiven myself. Huh. You are my brother. Do you ever say that to him? No, you still don't understand. Can you imagine what it's like? When your blood mixes with the filth and the toxins eat through your nerve. Uh, no. Oh, I hated you for what you'd done. I cannot imagine. I was left with an understanding. The only way to defeat the superior enemy is to become what they fear. Not about the only way, but it's certainly a way. I hated you, but you kept my respect until you made peace with them. I had no choice. Uh, I don't know about that. But now you do. We have the power, brother. Are you guys actually brothers or more like brothers in arms? You know? You'd sacrifice everything that we are. It's not the way. Okay. Can you see that? I gotta agree with Vanda on this one. And it does tie into a point I've made in several recent videos. Just on the other ones with my girlfriend. I made a few. I've been making videos with my girlfriend on the Sam and Maria channel. A couple of times it's been brought up in some of those videos. I can't remember which ones exactly, I'll be honest. The idea of winning at all costs, which is kind of what we're getting here, you know? Dude with a messed up eye. Can't remember his name, if, if they said it. It seems like he has decided that any cost is worth winning for. And it really isn't. I mean, okay, I'm somewhat thinking in terms of sports, you know, but if you've got to do dirty shit, if you've got to do scummy shit, if you've got to like lie, cheat and steal to win, is it really a win? You know, you got to think about what you're giving up to get that win. You know what I mean? Kill me if you have to, but please spare the lanes. You die for the cause, but you won't fight for one. Oh, he did fight. He just had the spirit beat out of him a little bit. Not that man anymore. I'll show you what you really are. Well, it's interesting to see, of course, that the juice does wear off. That uh, other kid has obviously gone back to a relatively normal size. I hope it hasn't caused permanent damage, even if he did seem like not exactly a great guy or whatever. So far, so good. Uh -huh. Caught immediately. Willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. It is. Wait, did what is the prize? Bedroom? <laughs> I'm trying to play it off. Please, we can prove that it works. You couldn't do so earlier today. How is tonight any different? Time? We figured out how to stabilize it. The council would destroy it. Heimendinger will recognize the potential. He already does. Yeah. It scares him. It scares them all. Recognizing isn't the problem. I recognize it. Any worthwhile venture involves risk. Does that mean you're on board, Counselor? I know it sounds impossible. When have we ever let that stop us? Just give us a chance. Yeah. 
Sounds like a dream worth fighting for. One night, impress me, or I'd suggest you pack your bags. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the enforcers hit tonight, we'll be ready. Dibs on the bat. No, 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 no. Oh, you guys do not look very ready. Boy. Where's the... Oh, you're back. Yeah. A lot of powder has the rabbit now as well. I don't think I mentioned that last episode, but it's cool. Hey, those are Vanders. Slow down. Benzo's dead. They took Vander. Who took Vander? I don't know, but I need to help him. We're going with you. Okay, absolutely. Rescue mission. Whatever killed Benzo was like nothing I've ever seen. You're not doing this alone, Vi. He's our father too. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are together. Echo followed them. The old cannery next to the docks. Telling Powder to stay. Need you to sit this one out, Powder. Yeah. What? You're not coming. I'm not afraid. It's too dangerous. It's not about fear. But if family stick together, you said it yourself. I can help. You're not ready. Not everyone can be on every mission. You're all I have left. I can't lose you. I'm glad she put it like that. If they come for you, take this and run. Wherever you are, light it up and I'll find you. I promise. Ow. Oh, it's a very specific light. Is a tracker in there? It's all here. Oh, and one crystal. Yeah. You guys have any more? I know powder took, it seems like almost all. Time to crank it. Man, I hope this does not blow up in their faces. Aww. And I hope Powder's gonna get through this grief without running out of here and getting herself hurt or captured or worse. Um, okay. Yeah. Are you gonna use those as part of your explosives? I can help them. Um, maybe, but not now and not like that. Let's get Vander and get out. I told you it would work. Ooh. All yours. Wow. No blowing up in face. It's never done that before. All right, here we go. Oh shit. Um... Oh, fuck. Man, they are so lucky. It was just, looks like one cut on the side of the face there. Man, they could have got fucked up. But yeah, what were they trying to achieve? I assume we'll just see that later in the episode, but obviously I'm very curious. Fine. Yep. What are you doing here? Getting you, obviously. Milo, on it. Now, I appreciate that Vanda's not arguing with them. Uh, how did you get in? Oh, there's guards everywhere. We found an open window and... Oh, God. Oh, no. You have to get out. Yeah. Welcome. It seemed like maybe it was a little too easy. Yeah, it, it was a little too easy. Okay. Bro, are you slow clapping? Motherfucker! Have you heard the rumor? Vander the coward fled town with his children, and they were never seen again. Ah, uh, okay. Clagger, see if you can find another way out of here. Wait, Vi, you're gonna use the gauntlet? I was like, you don't have to do this. Hang on. Yes, I do. How, how is that massive gauntlet fitting on her arm? Wouldn't it be like all loose? Is there like support things in the gauntlet that, you know, hold out oh, gauntlets? They look way oversized for her. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's some shit on the inside. I guess one size fits all, right? <laughs> a little bummed the dude went for the straight stab like that. It seemed like kind of a poor move, but you know, I guess he wasn't taking it seriously. Oof, yeah, those gauntlets do look pretty serious. Also, really heavy. My 
Milo. Take a breath. Uh huh. You can do this. Nice. Good one, Vando. Hey, hang on. Why weren't you freeing his arms first? We're gonna get you out. Always free the arms first. Oh, okay. Just, just both feet. Sure. Oh man. Some of these guys won't be getting out for a while. What, you want to see what she's got? Ready to rise to the surface. Yeah. Give that dude the juice again. God damn it. I kind of feel bad for that kid. I mean, yeah, he seemed like a shitty kid, but he's only being made shittier by this guy, so. Oh yeah, of course. Vi took out everyone. Can she deal with fucking Hulk over here? Milo, hurry. Yeah. Hurry the fuck up. You don't really want Vi taking on this fight. That's that's a lot. Oh uh, that's, yeah, that didn't seem like a good idea. She'll go! Let her go! This is between you and me! You had your chance! Sorry, what was his name? Choco? Mm. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I'm glad Vice smart enough that uh, she knows now is the time to bail. <laughs> Guess it's good you're in a locked room like that. Or a uh, reinforced room, I should say. You did good. Yeah, honestly, probably don't continue sitting in front of the door. If he does manage to bust that door down, it's gonna fuck you up. Stop this lunacy! No pressure! That sounds like pressure! Huh. I like how we've got the memories of the first time he saw this power being used, kind of paralleling with this. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hectic, but what exactly is happening here? You've actually done it. But just because it can be done, will you please yeah. stop hovering? Doesn't mean that it should be done. I'm not sure how to do that, sir. Yeah, fair. Perhaps it's time for the era of magic. Perhaps. For the era of Hextech. Again. All very cool, but what exactly have you achieved? All I can see is it what looks like a map of the stars. Okay, so Powder is gonna use that as part of her explosive devices. Honestly, as much as this situation is dire, I know they've written it so that Powder can sort of save the day with her explosive. I don't. I can't say I agree with the story at least needing powder right now. Um, still very cool. Yeah, we do not know what level of explosion or whatever is gonna happen here. Uh, do you wanna bail, bro? Or no, you're just hoping it won't go off or do anything? For real though, Milo and Vanda should have figured out free arms first, because then Vanda could free one of his own legs. Woo! Okay, what an explosion. Uh, okay. So quite a bit of fallout here. Interesting that we continue seeing the explosion from the start point, just from different angles and how it's affecting all the different people. Oh shit, is he okay? Oh fuck. Um, is Milo gonna live? That's not good. Everyone's in a dire situation. Is Powder gonna get some kind of abilities from this? Okay, Amanda's alive. Good start. How about Milo and... Is it Castor? 
Castigan? I can't quite recall. But are they okay? And I assume Violet's okay because she's like one of our two main characters. Assuming that Vi and Powder are supposed to be the main characters, it's the impression I'm getting. Man, I can't believe the uh, the juiced up kid is okay. I guess his new powers protected him. The power of purple steroids. <laughs> Going in with the improvised knuckle dusters. And I appreciate at least Vander here is... Oh, that's brutal. I was going to say, at least Vander here is big enough that... Um, he At least believable that he stands a chance in a strength-on-strength strength type of fight. So I don't think either of these guys are going to be bringing a whole lot of skill to this equation. You know, because they're fucked up and tired and all that, you know what I mean? Okay, Violet, are you capable of... No, I was going to say getting up and doing something, but... Oh. So now the place is on fire too. Awesome. That's great. Nice. Man, I am really hoping Vanda makes it out of this one. Okay, just as I said it. Yeah, I had a feeling... He may not. Uh, honestly, bro... I know you might have done wrong in the past. I don't know. So obviously, I don't know what went on between you guys, but... Oh. Yeah. You might want to actually finish it this time. I know you're probably dying here, but... Actually snap his neck. He's gone too far. You know it. Oh. Running out of strength. Yeah. Okay. I knew you still had it in you. Huh. Just falling into all of that juice. Yeah. Does that matter? Will that help him in any way? Did you come to help or did you come to finish her off? Oh. Yeah, okay. I see. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Woo! Well, I'm glad that Vander is at least alive currently, because we know the juice wears off, you know? Zuko! Wait, Zuko? That's rough, buddy. <laughs> I, thought I thought I heard Choco before. Zuko actually makes more sense. Even though, of course, it's pretty hard to hear the name Zuko without thinking Avatar immediately, but, you know. Uh, he's still dying anyway. Take care of powder. Yeah, okay. So he's actually dead this time. Brutal, but not super shocking, I guess. My monkey bomb finally worked! Powder. You did this? Yeah. This is one of those reasons why maybe you shouldn't have been getting involved. I know the situation looks dire, but... Why did you do this? I, I, did, I was saving you. Yeah, she thought it was a good idea. Oh, they wanted to help. My own... I told you to stay away. Please. I told you to stay away! Oh, wait, well, hang on. The slap is not necessary. Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx. Milo was right. Ah. Uh. No. Okay. Come on. You have every right to be angry, but get it together. She may have fucked up huge, but she is still a kid and still your sister. Violet, please! Come on, man. Get it together. Hey, no? You're just gonna leave her there? Dude, she's a child. Yes, she fucked up, but she doesn't know any better. I you. you can't just leave her there. Uh, okay. No, that's too much, man. Don't just leave her there, please. Come on, man. No! 
Seriously? <laughs> no! <laughs> Do not let Zuko, I suppose, take powder? This is not good. Oh, I know you're also kind of still a kid. Violet, she's what, like 16 or something? Okay, she realized at the very least. I'll kill you if he hears you. Oh, fuck. It's unfortunate that she realized too late. I'm glad that she at least had the, the realization, the thought process, that she needs to save her sister. Ah, shit. Hello. Where's your sister? This seems very concerning. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you yeah, I guess you figured that's He left me. Oh. Just desperate for someone to take you in. She is not my sister anymore. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hate that it has come to this, but you know, I guess these things happen. And yes, Zuko is going to take her in. It's okay. Oh. I'll show them. I wonder if he genuinely cares or if we will show them all. He just feels like he can use her. Ah, uh, it sucks. I can hear the sound of a heart. I'll never leave my memory. I can see a tear on my father's face. So that, that's how we're going, huh? How could I have ever let you down? <sighs> that's sad. And I'm going to guess that Violet is not going to get her opportunity to fix that relationship, at least in time. And by in time, I, I mean, you know, before Powder goes full dark side, which, you know, right now she's in a vulnerable position being taken in by the wrong people. So that's rough. Yeah, that's a heavy episode. I'm very curious to see where this is going next. But yeah, I'll see you for the next episode.